Welcome back to Immortal. We are on the PC client. It's beautiful. I played for 11 hours today on stream with a controller. You're going to love it. We're going to talk about today the most asked questions when I'm on stream. We're going to cover your combat rating and why it's so important to have a higher combat rating than the content that you're currently battling. A lot of people are trying to do LaSalle, that demon. The first demon you can do with a Heliquary, the eight group and they're all dying they are dying to it so bad because we get it early around level 40 you don't have the combat rating to go in there and fight this and you're dying so we're going to explain how combat rating works why you need it because if you have a better combat rating you do way more damage you take way less damage we're going to cover that and show you where you can see it we're going to talk about your stats for your class they're always asking me about, hey, Stu, what stats should I focus on for my specific class? And then we're going to talk about legendary items. Well, unique items. They're the ones that augment your abilities and how we can really use those to do better in the game and to progress faster and easier. You'll get a legendary item in the battle pass for free at level 10. So it's very, it's good to know this before you pick which item you choose for that if you haven't picked it yet we're going to talk about where to level and then the battle pass and cosmetics how those do not transfer over to any other servers or even to other classes on your server first thing you might want to do though is if you're planning on playing other classes make sure you lock in the name for those classes i've got crusader here with stew gaming tt we've got a monk with stew gaming tv and as you can see, they're all different names because I can't use Stu Gaming for each and every one of these. So go ahead and back out if you want to, if you're going to play different classes on that server and make different names. Go ahead and reserve those names for those classes that you want to play. Before we get into stats in combat, let's talk about leveling up equipment. Do not be afraid to level anything in this game. You're going to level it all. I'm talking anything you can level, level it up because you can automatically transfer it to a new piece of gear. When you get a better piece of gear, you can just transfer anything that you have on it over to that gear. So you see how I have this one leveled up to level four? Upgrade my item. We go over here to the blacksmith. We have our resources to do this with. And right now you can see that I need some more resources to level it up to the next level. But if I get a better piece of gear for this, this four is gonna transfer over free of charge automatically when I put that new piece on. Same thing goes for the gems you have on here and for the legendary gems. The basic gems on the left hand side, those will transfer right on over. The legendary gems over here, these as well will go right over. And when you level up these legendary gems, you can always use these to re-level up some other ones, but you're gonna wanna level these because you can have a different legendary gem in a different slot. You cannot have a duplicate. I can't have another lightning core and one of these other ones. So you're gonna wanna level up anything you can level up in the game. Go ahead and spend the resources to do it. And I was scared of this too. When I first started playing, I was like, well, do I really wanna level up this weapon? Because I'm gonna get a new one pretty soon, but it's okay. Go ahead and level it all up. It will transfer over free of charge and it will do it usually immediately when you put on the new gear. You won't even have to go somewhere to do it. You can do it out in the field. Let's talk about stats in combat rating. If you look at this paper doll, right here at the bottom left and you click on it you can see some of your basic stats and then when you have this gear over here you're going to see fortitude vitality every single piece of equipment plus 14 strength and when you add that strength it's going to increase your damage on my hero this is my class and how it affects my class so when you look at like your necromancer or your wizard and you go click on strength it's not even going to have this combat rating you're going to have it with intelligence as you can see my intelligence has zero so this is specific to your class and it will tell you exactly what stats you need to focus on and what those stats do. So I like strength because it gives me a little bit more damage, but to be honest with you, it's really not a lot of damage. So if I had a piece like this, that's fortitude and vitality, and one of it had strength and vitality, and I wanted to see the difference, I would just look here at my damage, look at my life, swap them in and out, it's free, and then see what the damage difference is. Really, usually, it's very, very little. Now, when you're going in to fight the Heliquary, and we're talking about your combat rating, this is so important in PvP, and it's very important when you're going through PvE content. Everybody is dying on this fight. Not this fight here. Where is that? 
Everyone is dying on the fight here for this demon. It's a fire demon. You go and fight it. It's an 8v8 fight. You have to go in there with eight other people. And nobody, first off, is killing the ads. The key to beating that, everyone, is to kill the ads. When you see those little snakes come out and start shooting, you'll have that one fire lizard, the main demon you're fighting. He's bouncing all around. It's fine. Ignore him and everyone fold on those ads and then go back to fighting him. And I promise you, you will do better at beating him. But first off, you need 420 combat rating. It says recommended, but it gives you the quest to go do that at level 40 and people don't have 420 at level 40. I'm 48 right now and I've gotten quite a few upgrades, 100% free to play by the way, gotten quite a few upgrades from leveling and I just got over that 420. And to see that, you're gonna go over here to your backpack again, to that paper doll down here at the bottom left and then click on more attributes. And now you see your combat rating. And if you read what it does right here, it says it compares your combat rating to the enemies. So the enemies for that encounter is 420. That's that demon's combat rating. Now, if you have lower than 420, he's gonna do way more damage to you and you're gonna do way less damage. So if you get over that 420, which I'm at 435 right now, I am gonna do 18% more damage to him and decrease all the damage I take by 15%. Against players, you can't gain more than 10% damage increase. So you can see why having a high combat rating is so important. To get a high combat rating, it actually jumps up quite a bit when you gain new levels because you gain stats from that. So just keep grinding levels. Keep grinding those levels out. And of course, whenever you get anything new, when you go get new drops, New gear, this is the combat rating score that helps bring it up, the score for that gear, but all in all, if you're bringing up this score, it's gonna slowly bring up your combat rating, adding gems in here, all the normal stuff you do. Best thing to do is just to run dungeons and get the unidentified, the unique items like this, identify them, they're gonna be much stronger than what you have, or legendary items. Like these, these are all actually legendary items. They don't even need to be the unidentified are called unique, the yellow are legendary. So if you have a whole bunch of legendary items, you keep leveling them up, you keep salvaging other ones so you can get these higher up to four and three. All of this will keep increasing your level and you'll get there. I promise you, you will get there. Just keep increasing your normal level, do your quest and you're gonna increase your combat rating. So if you've got any questions on how armor, armor penetration, potency, resistance, any of this stuff works, just come in here. And if you need to know about your primary stats to focus on for your class, it will tell you. And again, for intelligence for a barbarian, I don't need any. We don't need to be smart. We just swing our hammers, our axes, our swords, and we kill stuff. You want that gear and you don't know where to go find it. Very, very easy to do. Go to your codex, go to your activities, and look through here. These are all the dungeons you have available to go to. Now, it won't take you to the beginning, the entrance of the dungeon, but if you look here, this is gonna give you experience for your battle pass, which is really important, and it's gonna give you additional drops as well. And then once you get these battle pass levels up, like once I reach this next level, it's actually gonna give me a lot of experience for my hero as well. And then about once every six runs, you'll probably get an unidentified gear to go over there, and an unidentified legendary, which is called a unique, to get, and those are much stronger. And when you get those kind, that are unique, that have special augments to your skills, you come over here because you're gonna get multiples of those. And when you have multiples, you're gonna want to, not only will you get multiples, you're also gonna get one from your battle pass at level 10. And that is gonna be a weapon. So this weapon that I have here says that it's given my cleave an AOE strike ability. Well, you can put this on any other weapon. If you get one for all your armor that you like, you can put that on any other armor. That's why it's so good just to level up anything in this game. So once I get this, if I get something that outclasses this weapon, which I've gotten many actually, and I wanna get this back on it, you come over to her. Now she's gonna destroy the weapon. So make sure it's something, make sure you have a replacement weapon. She's gonna destroy the weapon, but she's gonna save what it does. Cleave now strikes a full circle. I can now put this on any other unique weapon or weapon that I find. Any kind of upgrade that I think is there, I can put it on it. I could put this one on it. I could put this one on the one I have right now if I want to. I can go here, inherit it. I can pick whichever one I want and then it will go over to the current weapon that I have. And these are always here. It's not like a one-time transfer. These are always here once you save them. 
And to save them, like I said, just make sure you have an item that is stronger than the one you have because she will destroy it. So if I wanted to save this ability, I would go to inherit and then she's going to destroy this weapon. I don't want to destroy it because I don't have one that's stronger than this. And then I can put this ability right here, which is a really good for a barbarian and put it over on the next one to upgrade. When you're running through a dungeon, don't worry about backtracking and going to get loot. If somebody killed some monsters in another area than where you were at, if it's legendary yellow or better, or if it's a rune or a gem or something like that, when you complete the dungeon and leave it, it will go automatically to your mailbox. So you don't have to worry about going back. If you want to go back to get some gold or get some fodder gear, if you really want to, you can, but it's not necessary. It's going to mail all that to you. The last thing I want to talk about is when you buy stuff for your class, for this barbarian right here, if I go and buy something from the shop, cosmetics, battle pass, if I buy the second part of the battle pass for $5 or $15 so I can get 10 levels right away, this does not add to any other class that you play. If I back out and play some other class on this server, it's there, there's nothing. It's fresh. So anything you buy here, any cosmetics whatsoever, any kind of coin or do anything with this, it doesn't go over to any other server and it doesn't even go over to any other class on this server. So keep that in mind if you're thinking it will and you want to jump to some other servers or transfer some things over, it won't. It will only be specific to this one right here. Let me know if you guys have any tips for anything else for beginners in the game so we can help them out. Appreciate your time. Please subscribe if you haven't and I will see you all in a video soon.